All right, so we're going to look at a different kind of problem now. This time we're going to ask ourselves whether or not this particular triangle is a right angle triangle given a couple of different values here. So I'm going to say, well, we use three values. I'm going to place nine meters there. I'm going to place six meters here. And I'm going to tell you that over here we've got 12 meters. So this light blue line is 12 meters long. And I'm asking you, is this a right angle triangle? So there would be a right angle normally, but in this example, we're not going to put that there because we need to figure out will 9 squared plus 6 squared give you 12 squared? So we'll go through the process that we normally use here. We're going to say a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we can see over here that these will be the short sides, this 6 and 9. Obviously, they're the short ones because they're less than 12. And over here, looking at the formula again, which ones are the short sides? It's always that a and b, the ones that are adding together. So I'll place 9 squared plus 6 squared, or you could have put 6 squared plus 9 squared, it won't change anything. And we're going to say that's equal to, well, we can do it one of two ways. We can say it's equal to 12 squared, and we'll find out if that's going to hold true right through this whole process. Or we can just stay with using c squared and find out, will these two values, when we, when we put them through the formula, will it spit out a value of c equals 12 at the end? Uh, we'll keep going this way like this. So 9 squared, we know that that's going to give us 81 plus 36 for 6 squared equals c squared. Now 81 plus 36 is going to give us 117. And that's equal to c squared. So now we just need to find out what is c because this over here, that should be our value of c. So will the square root of 117, will that give us 12? Well, let's find out. So c is equal to the square root of 117, and that gives us 10.8167, and that just keeps going. So what does that mean? What's, what's actually going on here? Well, we know now that if we wanted this to be a right angle triangle, what we should have, if I just quickly draw a right angle triangle again, we should have something like, that can be our, our base of 9, this can be our height of 6, and over here will be our distance along there. If I put 9 meters there, let's put 9 meters in here. If I put 6 meters in there, now using a right angled triangle, if we add these two values together, we're squaring them and getting the square root again, we know that this distance must be 10.8167. Okay, now what's going on here is that we've been told the distance at this point right through to this, this peak here above 6 is 12 meters. So it's a little bit longer than 10.816. So what can only be happening with this triangle is it's not a right angle. If it was a right angle, it would have been 10.8. It's longer than that. How can we get a side of 12 meters that's, how can we make this longer if we're using these values of 9 and 6? Well, there's one way to do it. There's only one way to do it. We're going to take that same length along the base here. I'm going to say that's 9 meters. I'm going to take that 12 meters. I'm going to run that, make it yellow. I'm going to run that 12 meters. Now, I can't put it at the same angle, because if I put it at the same angle, we're going to get a, a side on the right-hand side. That short side of 6 is going to have to stretch too far. We've only got 6 meters, so what I need to do is tilt it down slightly. And when I tilt it down, the only way to run 6 meters is at an angle like that. So you can see that we've had to open up this angle here. This is the angle here. We've had to open this up. That's still six meters long, but by opening it up, we can extend the length of this yellow line. So we can, in fact, make it 12 meters this way. But what happens? Well, we no longer have a right angle triangle. So that's the whole point of these questions is to find out, are they right angles? Well, once again, just place them through the formula, find out if it spits out the right number. And if it doesn't, well, you don't have a right angle triangle.